guys, today I'm going to be talking about Cover Up Buttercup SPF 15 Natural Moisturizer from Mugu. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Mugu the company and then I'm going to talk about the product. I'm going to highlight a few of the ingredients um, and then I'm going to give you my opinion of it. My name is Sharon, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe below and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. Okay, so let's get started. Mugu is a small, family owned and operated business based out of Australia. They do have a warehouses in different parts of the world such as the US and the UK. Mugu is concerned about the environment. So uh, some of their warehouses and offices in Australia are primarily solar powered, which I think is pretty awesome. They also purchased a machine which allows them to reuse old cardboard and cardboard boxes. It shreds them and they use them as packing material. And Mugu is um, a natural company, so they have natural products. They state that they do not test on animals, instead they test on themselves. I am somewhat wary of some natural products and I took I took a look at some of the um, ingredients and I had questions about the preservatives and um, I wrote to the company and they got back to me really nicely and really quickly and they said that yes they do do challenge testing so what this is is they challenge the product um, and make sure that the preservatives actually work so I think all of that together is pretty awesome the thing that held me back from ordering from Mugu was the prices um, the prices are more than I would normally spend for products. And I was able to get 15% off the discount coupon. I haven't seen that since. They don't have a lot of sales. I do have a $10 off coupon for you guys, and that's below, and it's good off your first order of $40 or more. So you can take a look at that below. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the product. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the container, and I'm gonna explain why it has this. This does not close, um, and I wanted, I, I first I tried taping it, like I had some kind of zebra tape on it um, and that kept on going off, getting off and on. So I finally just put in a plastic bag on it. I do like that it's really easy, like it's very thin um, and I could probably cut this as I got to the end to make sure I got everything out of it. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the ingredients. So this is a physical barrier or a um, mineral based um, SPF. So it is SPF 15. I could not find any information on um, what percent is zinc oxide. So I have their, um, this is their regular, this is sunscreen sunscreen, it's 30, um, SPF 30, and it's 25% zinc oxide. This is SPF 15, um, and that doesn't mean it's gonna have half the percentage of zinc oxide. But it does say it blocks 95% uh, of the UVB rays, and it also blocks um, UVA rays, um, the U.S. is different with their labeling, and I did inquire about that, but it does block both UVA and UVB. Um, and this is not a sunscreen, okay? This is actually, you can see it is a moisturizer. So um, as you guys might know, in Australia, uh, the sun is very strong. You have to be very careful. They don't, um, a lot of people I know who have children there, they wear like the full-on uh, rash guard suits with the hats and the neck protections as well. Um, so this is good, like just for you know extra or daily um, SPF protection, and you can wear this under your clothes as well. Um, they say um, we add clear zinc oxide and raspberry seed oil, and raspberry seed oil, like natural oils and butters, it might have a small percentage of um, SPF protectant. It's definitely not something I would use alone. So I do know, unfortunately, there's got to be a you know, this trend where people are making their own sunscreen, and this is so incredibly dangerous. Um, you do not want to fool around with the sun. The Mugu is a, a brand or a company, and they have spent years developing their products. They have tested these in labs, um, and they've also tested the, the preservatives to make sure they're, that they work for the product. Preservatives are awesome and amazing. They keep your natural products from growing microorganisms. You don't want bacteria, gram uh, negative or positive bacteria, yeast mold, or fungus to grow in your product. So um, remember that anything with water or water-based like honey is going to need a preservative. Um, and also please do not buy the homemade sunscreen. It's just incredibly dangerous. So this is natural. They do tell you that you should patch test and I think that's awesome. So here on the side it says it tests on an they test on themselves not animals. All natural products should be patch tested for allergies before use. Um, my daughter, for example, this is their SPF sunscreen, is allergic to beeswax. 
Um, and I found that out when we used a balm that had beeswax on it and it just totally aggravated her eczema uh, to no end. So let's talk about some of the ingredients. The first ingredient here is um, water and then you have zinc oxide. So you do have a high percent of zinc oxide. I don't know how much. Now some of their ingredients, what they've done here is they have the um, inky name or the INCI name, uh, like Latin name, and then in parentheses they either have the vernacular common name or they tell you what it does. So they have a hobo oil, um, a squalane, and this is olive, olive based. So there are two ways to get a squalene or squalane. Um, one is from shark liver and the other is olive based. So this is olive based. You have a coconut based conditioner, um, a few other uh, emulsifying waxes, vitamin E, um, aloe vera juice, red raspberry seed oil, olatonin, gargum, and em another emulsifier, and hops. And hops is one of those things that's acting as a preservative. So it does seem um, very natural. I do like it. Um, it doesn't have anything in here that uh, my kids are allergic to or anything that I wouldn't use. And I want to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to take it off of there. Um, it has a pretty big size hole. It is pretty thin. Um, and it is... Oops, I'm going to put this so it doesn't fall over. Um, it's kind of got like a yellowish tinge to it. Okay, so again, this is not a uh, this is not a sunscreen per se. This is a moisturizer. Um, it is it does have zinc oxide. Now, if you've never used zinc oxide before, it's a pain to use. Um, it's thick. It can come on white. They do use clear here. Um, it can be like sticky or tacky, and it can take a long time to rub in. So this rubs in pretty well, um, as you can see. It is, however, just like their sunscreen, it's very tacky. Um, I do not like the feeling of it. So I do like this product. I like, I do like Moo. I do like this product. Um, it is a little bit too tacky for me. I probably am going to continue to use it on my kids. Um, I personally wouldn't use this on myself anymore. It's just I do not like the consistency of it. So I like to hear from you guys. If you've ever purchased anything from Mugu, uh, please let me know what you bought and what your opinion of it was. I did review also their sunscreen. So neither of these products I'm really a fan of, and I think it's just zinc oxide is really difficult to use. Um, I would probably use another, not this one, and you can watch my video and see why, another zinc oxide based product for sunscreen, but as far as daily use goes, um, having zinc oxide in my um, lotion is something that I, I just wouldn't use. I cannot wait to wash my hands and just get this off my hands. So make sure you guys uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to get the latest updates. I'll see you guys later.